Hey, hello there guys, Proxens here, and welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee series on the channel. So unlike the previous episodes, this episode is actually being done as a premiere on the channel instead of a live stream, and that's due to some time constraints, so I hope it's not too big of a problem, but welcome everybody, hope you're having a fantastic day, and now, let's just hop right into the story and see where we left off, and we left off here in... Spooky Town, aka Lavender Town. So we need to go through here and see what we have to do. And I think we were kind of sort of hinted to go in a certain direction, and that direction is this tower over here. This tower being the Pokemon Tower. So I guess let me make sure my Pokemon are healed up. Because that's an important thing to check. And they look to be good. So with that being the case. Let's go inside, and let's see what spooks await us. So I want to talk to as many people in here as I can, just in case there's something hidden. So, the Pokemon Tower was erected in the memory of Pokemon that passed away. Okay. My sweet Growlithe, why did he have to die and leave me? This is going to be kind of sad. Okay, let's see. Oh, we got an outfit. Okay, we got a formal set. I'm intrigued. I am very intrigued. So let me check out my clothing trunk. And let's choose an outfit for ourselves. Let's see, pants. Let's just start there. So formal shorts. They look pretty normal to me. I'm guessing this is going to be like a suit. Oh, dang. Okay, I can work with this. I wonder if BV gets something too. Ooh, you do get a formal hat. Oh, that's so cute. That's so cute. Wait, wait, wait. I have to, I have to rotate them now. Oh my goodness, that's so cute. We're both like formal now. Oh my goodness, that is, that is perfect. That is perfect. So. We're now up here in the Pokemon Tower, and we have to travel through. Ooh, a Sylph Scope. That's a very unique item, also kind of rare. I think there's only one place you can get that from. So this is Aaron over here. Hey, if it isn't Alex, but what are you doing here? No way, Alex. Your Pokemon didn't die or anything, right? No, 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 I just, I just saw you walk into here. We're good. Oh boy, I'm glad I was wrong this time, but maybe I should check that your Pokemon really are doing well with a battle. <sighs> this dude, this dude always chooses to fight us at the most random of times. I wouldn't say this really is like a bad time to fight it, but it's just, it's just random. Because usually he chooses bad times, but this one's just, just really, really random. You're inside a giant Pokemon cemetery, dude. I don't think you should be battling in here. It's not cool. It's not cool. But hey, at least we've got moves that are pretty good against his Pokemon. For example, Buzzy Buzz, one of my favorite moves thus far in the game. Are you kidding me? Are you joking? <sighs> I can't believe this dude. I, I, I can't believe this dude. He chooses to bring out the full restore. Or was it a hyper potion? I don't know. Nonetheless, it was still some sort of item that healed his Pokemon up. And he chose to bring it out the moment after we used Buzzy Buzz. Can't believe this dude. Can't believe him. Hey, Flare grew to level 23. A Raichu. Here's the thing. I don't really have anything to deal with the Raichu. Wait a second. You already evolved your Pokemon? What? Okay, I think I'm kind of underleveled relative to his Pokemon right now. Level 28 versus a level 29. I mean, I'm certainly not below his level, but I wouldn't say I'm at a point that I would consider ideal. <laughs> so I'll have to train up my Pokemon a little bit more to ensure that we don't have any problems with Aaron here. 
Dang, why do you have to have Thunder Punch? That's honestly such a good move. Like, dang, dude. Ooh, wait, 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 wait. I think one more Sizzly Slide should do the trick here. <sighs> Never mind. Never mind, because that didn't work. Let me just use Double Kick and hope for the best. Thundershock? Okay, we're good, we're good. That won't do that much damage to me. And then I can just use Double Kick, and... There we go! We took you down, sweet! Sweet. Hit two times, Raichu fainted, BV got a ton of experience, and Sans grew to level 26. GT grew to level 24, and... Oh! That's awesome! You broke through the paralysis! I didn't know that could happen. That's that's kind of OP. That's kind of OP, but at the same time, it's really cool. So let's just use Sizzly Slide here. Oh no. Oh no. Please don't take down BV. Oh wait, you're just using Razor Leaf. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, I was worried that Gloom would pull out some crazy move there, but... We got pretty lucky and Gloom was like, nah dude, I'll cut you some slack this time. We're good. Okay, there we go. Nicely done. And Gloom has fainted. Thus, we guarantee our victory in this battle. And we got we got some money for it. Nice. Alright. Ah oh, shoot. Well, when we battled, we scared off that Cubone there. You know Cubone, right, Alex? It's a Pokemon that's always wearing a skull. That Cubone looked like it was searching for something. Maybe it's up on one of the higher floors. Maybe. That's a possibility. I feel like I should probably go and heal up before we choose to head further up the tower, though. Just because you never know what's going to happen. It might it might just be a good idea in general to go and heal up. Because, you know, it could go up the tower. It could find something spooky. And it could be really spooky. Also... I don't know if I'm just imagining things, but I feel like the order of just trainers in this area has kind of adjusted. I feel like some trainers who weren't there are there now, and that's kind of spooky. To be fair, this entire town is kind of spooky, but it's, it's more specifically spooky <laughs> due to those certain causes. I don't know if this trainer was here. Huh. Maybe she was. I don't know. I might just be over-hyping the spooky factor here. So let's just go back in the tower and deal with the stuff that's actually spooky. Especially the, uh, the purple gas. Because that is kind of spooky. Okay, what do we have here? X attack? Okay. I don't really use X items, but that might come in handy probably never. I could sell it, though. I could actually sell it, and that might be good. <laughs> Cubone! Cubone! Come out! Come out! Wherever you are! Hmm. Don't see any sign of it. That seems problematic. <gasps> Is that... It's... A... It's a... G-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-g-
Guess what, Ghastly? I have Bite. Well, rather, Beavy has Bite, and Bite's a pretty darn good move. And Bite happened to take you down, so, you know, you got outspooked. Outspooked. Okay, we got an awakening. Also, I think I need to pet BV since BV keeps like pestering me in the corner. Oh no, you look so scared, but it's so cute. It's like a cute. It's, it's like a cute uh, spook. No, 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 no. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. There we go. Don't be spooked anymore. Also, what can we do here? Oh. Fascinating. Okay, chill. Chill out. Chill out. How am I gonna avoid you? Aw, oh, man, come on. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Go, 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 go. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Are you, are you kidding me? Haha, gotcha. Gotcha. Okay, I'd prefer being a fight than having to run away from these things. I should probably go into a fight with one of them. Because honestly, it wouldn't hurt to do that and just see what they are. But at the same time, I'd like to avoid them. Because they're spooky ghosts. And spooky ghosts are things you want to avoid. Especially when you can get pretty easy experience from all these Pokemon trainers in here. Alright, BV got a ton of experience. Well, actually, no, no she didn't. No, she didn't. It was barely any experience. <laughs> okay. Grab that. Oh, a super potion. Thank you. I'm not going to use that because I probably don't have a use for it. And also, since that trainer turned away, I'm just going to keep walking. Just going to keep walking because, oh, no. Grab it. Grab it. It's an escape rope that might come in handy in here, especially given the fact that there are ghosts everywhere. And I think in the process of walking down... We're probably going to have to actually walk down. So if I can avoid these ghosts by using an escape rope, I'll take it. I'll take it over having to look at them <laughs> and run away from them. Also, this trainer has two spooky Pokemon. The first one is a Ghastly. Let's use Bite. I'm glad we have 25 PP for Bite because that means we can take down 25 different Ghastlies. As long as our bite doesn't actually miss, which I think the odds for bite missing are pretty low, I hope, I think, probably. Okay, what do we have here? A haunter? Huh, we might need two bites, because haunter, haunter is a bit more powerful. Sucker punch, why are you faster? I've got a BV. BV's supposed to be super fast. Come on, dude. I have to use Buzzy Buzz on you now. Because I don't want to waste my bites. Just in case they're useful for future battles. <laughs> Even though, when I really consider it, every single Pokemon in here is going to be weak to bite. So it really doesn't affect much if I just use them. Especially since I could just use an Aether. And the Aether would make it so I could recover those little bits of pp that i lose out on so you know some factors to consider okay so i'm gonna take a guess and say that this person also has a ghastly and a haunter because you know she's got two pokemon so i'm guessing since that was the case with the previous trainer why is this ghastly faster than me i don't understand i don't understand why is it faster all the other ghastlies weren't faster. What's going on here? What are you doing? Oh, another ghastly. I'll take it. I'll take it. As long as it's not a haunter, which makes me waste my moves, I'll take another ghastly. Gosh, it's so spooky. It's so spooky to look at those eyes that are just like... Like that. Exactly like that. Just spooky. Super spooky. Okay... Houseplant grew to level 26, sweet. And we defeated the opponent. Okay, now what I kind of want to do is I kind of want to look and see if there's a Pokeball or something. And if there is, which there doesn't appear to be, 
Uh, I'll grab it, but since there isn't, I'm gonna go upstairs. What the? Are you kidding me? No. No. No! I... I didn't expect that to happen. I actually didn't expect that to happen. Are you kidding me? I thought you'd just have to fight them. Like, back in red and blue, you'd have to fight them, if I'm remembering correctly. But you actually have to avoid them. Oh, boy. Okay, well, in that case, run. Do 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 Okay. Um, I want to avoid that path. Stop! That was my one way out. Dude, chill out. Chill out, dude. Come on. Come on. Go, 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 go. Okay, okay, come on. Uh, I know not to go that way now. I know that I can go this way. Also, there's a Pokeball over there, which I'm going to try to grab. And I don't understand what the giant spot in the middle of this area is. Is this the top floor, or what's up? If this is the top floor, then that just might be the central area of the top floor. The place where the spooks aren't that spooky. But, at the same time, it could be something random that I've got no idea about, so... We'll have to see. We'll have to see. Oh, come on. Why'd you burn me? Dude! Chill out! Now I have to see if I have a burn heal. And I'm pretty sure I don't. So thanks for that, Haunter. Haha! -ha. You, you missed. You missed, buddy. Okay, please, please heal up. Please heal up. Come on. I know there's a chance that you'll heal up. Is it gonna happen? Is it gonna happen? No, but you grew to level 30. Good job. Good job, BV. Honestly... Although most of my other Pokemon are pretty underleveled for this, I think BB is doing all right. BB is doing all right. Are you kidding me? Ah oh, man. Okay, there's a way around this. <gasps> you got juked. Woo! Ah, we're safe. We're safe. You entered the purified and protected space. And your Pokemon were fully healed. Dang, that's cool. Okay, should I battle this trainer? Oh, you purified this face. Thanks. Thanks, wow. Okay. Oh my goodness. What is with these ghosts? Chill out. Honestly, chill out, ghosts. I don't understand. These ghosts keep, keep not being chill. <laughs> okay, do I have to fight you? Give me your all. Sure, sure, I can do that. I can do that. I mean, you're just a regular trainer after all who happens to have three Pokemon. She's got three Pokemon. Why do you have three Pokemon? I don't understand. I don't understand. Why do you have three Pokemon? That was a backwards three. Three Pokemon right there. Nonetheless, that was also a backwards three. Yeah, yeah, that was two backwards threes technically, because I did it like this. Uh, no, 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 I, sorry, I'm... <laughs> okay, it was a three, nonetheless. Even if it was backwards, it was still a three to the same effect. So, we're fine. We're fine. Okay, continuing our fight here. Um, we took down the Ghastly, so that's pretty good. And we got a good chunk of experience. And Flare grew to level 24. Okay, you're sending out another Ghastly. Wonderful! Wonderful! I'm glad you've got so many Ghastlies. And I'm glad I have no idea where to get these Ghastlies. And honestly, I should probably figure that out, because I kind of want a Ghastly. I mean, like, think about it. It's a Ghastly. That's a pretty good Pokemon once it evolves into a Haunter. Yeah, it's a, it's a pretty good Pokemon in a lot of different situations. So, 
Ah, I thought this would be the top floor. Oh my goodness. Stop. Stop. Grab that. Okay, we gotta revive. Here's how I'm gonna do this. Wait, what are you doing? Oh! What? What? That's a little bit of a surprise. That's a good bit of a surprise. I didn't expect you to actually be, you know, a trainer. <laughs> yeah, I didn't expect her to be a, a trainer. This was just standing and looking at a grave, so quite odd. But at the same time, who am I to question it? I need to go back down to the previous floor so I can heal up. Actually, wait. No, I don't, because I have an antidote. That is one item that I know I have, because I I think I bought one of them a while back. Pretty sure. Okay, so that's good. Once we finish up this fight, I'll use my antidote, I'll use a super potion, and then BV will be good to go for whatever obstacles we have to face next. Another Haunter. I don't think I actually have another Pokemon that can deal with Haunter other than BV with Bite. So I... Why is it level 32? Why is it level 32? Oh my goodness. Why is it level 32? Of all levels it could be. Why couldn't it be 28? Why does it have to be level 32? 32. Why? I don't understand. What's the purpose of that? Just... I... I... I I'm at a loss for words. I mean, we managed to take it down, but it certainly didn't do BV any good. Man, that's... That's not good. Okay. Yeah, I need to swap out of here. I'm not letting BV go down. That's not part of the plan. So I'm swapping over to Sands, because Sands should be able to do something here. Okay, a Haunter. Sure. Sure, I'll keep dealing with these Pokemon that you send out at me. <gasps> I have an idea. I have an idea. I can... I had an idea. I thought it would be good. Hey, okay, 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 that's actually fine. That That's fine. That's fine. As long as its accuracy is falling, we're fine. I'll just have to use Wing Attack a couple times. Chill out, dude. Chill out. Why? Why? Of every single move you could go for. You choose to go... Oh, wait, I woke up. Good, 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 good. Okay, wing attack, how much damage? On a scale of, like, 1 to 7, that's about a 4. In terms of, like, how good it could have been. It hurt itself in its confusion, but at least the hypnosis missed. Okay, snapped out of the confusion. We're not hypnotized. We're doing good. We're doing good. So that means we should be able to outspeed it. Oh my goodness, why'd you have to use Confuse Ray again? Is your strategy just using Confuse Ray and then going over to Hypnosis? Is that all this trainer does? I don't understand. Like, oh. Oh. I don't understand. At least we're getting good experience out of this, right? Is that a good thought process? I feel like it's reasonable. I wouldn't say it's the best but at the same time this fight isn't the best either <laughs> but hey we won so that's pretty sweet we got a good chunk of experience gt grew level 25 agility no 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 i think I, I don't think we need to learn agility that doesn't really seem like a required move for gt the beedrill so let me step back down i am so glad i managed to juke that thing because if I hadn't, that would kind of suck. Okay, and now our Pokemon are fully healed. So I can run back upstairs. And then run through this entire floor. As that's sort of our course of action here. So, let's see. Hee hee hee. Rather, kiki key, key, key. Interesting laugh you have there, Jennifer. Oh no, she has one Pokemon. 
It's probably like level 34 or something. Watch me be right with this one. If it's 34, come on. It's 25, what? Why did that other lady have two level 32s then? I don't understand. I can easily take down a level 25 haunter, but I can't take down a level 20, sorry, a level 32 haunter that easily. That, that's, that's confusing. Oh wait, maybe it's, grab the item. Ooh, three ultra balls, okay. I can use those. Go back down. This is, this is one of those instances where we need to go back down if we actually want to go further ahead. Because otherwise we'll just have to deal. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Grab it. <sighs> okay. Juke him. Nice. Nice. Oh? Be gone. Intruders. Um, BV is trembling in fear. It won't let you take another step forward. Huh. Okay. Cool. Well, you're kind of spooky. Is there a way for me to get through here, or what's up? I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure. BV doesn't want to take another step forward. I'm kind of at a loss for options here. I mean, oh, wait, no, 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 that wouldn't work. Unless that would work. Maybe that could work. It's possible. That being an option that I don't know how viable it is, but what if we use Flash on that Pokemon and then make it disappear or something? Hmm. It's a possibility. It's a possibility we can consider. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. After we win this fight, I'll go back there and see what's up. Also, I love the fact that this trainer has level 25, because it's just so much nicer than level 32. Because with the level 32, you're just you're just struggling to get by. But with level 25, you just use bite once and you win. It's that easy. It's just like a press of a button. It's like that was easy. Imagine that was actually that was easy button, but you know you get the point. You get the point. Even without the button, the point is stated by just mentioning that was easy. Okay. Castly's down, which means we won the fight. And we defeated this channeler. So now comes the dilemma. I don't know what to do. Maybe if I just crawl by it. My dude, what are you doing? What are you doing? Um... What if I go to play with BV? Okay, why are you looking so confident, dude? Fight this thing if you're so confident. Seems that can't be used here. Huh. Well, let's go back down, I guess. Seems to be our only option. That's somewhat disappointing. I'll just let this one take me to the bottom floor. So then we don't have to walk all the way back down. Is there anybody around here who can help me out? Hmm. I guess not. Maybe we can just go around the city and talk to some people. And that might help us out a little bit. Or maybe I'm missing something completely obvious, which probably is the case. Knowing me, I'm missing something that's right there. Okay. You're telling me to name my Pokemon something with love. Thanks, I try my best to do that. <gasps> I see someone over there. I see someone I don't think I saw earlier. Hmm. It's Team Rocket. Okay, let's go and talk with them. <gasps> they noticed me. 
We came all the way to Leverton Town. Uh, we came all the way to Lavender Town on the boss's orders, but where in the world is this old man Fuji supposed to be? The only place left is that spooky old Pokemon Tower, right? That's right. We couldn't get to the top because that strange ghost getting in the way. Huh? You seem to have the same problem as me. Huh? Well, we couldn't find that old man, but at least we found this Cubone. Let's get it back to our hideout. At least we'll have some. Uh, something to show for our trouble. Right, let's head to the Rocket Game Corner in Celadon City. Um. Oh, Cubone seems happy that you're taking it to its mother in Celadon City. And now it appears that you've given me direct hints as to where I need to go. <gasps> I just saw something awful! What'd you see? What'd you see? Yeah, I'll go over there. I guess that seems like a good option. Obviously, I'm deterred by the fact that there's a ghost. That's kind of spooky. And it's kind of like, hey, dude, you can't go to the top of the tower until you go and figure out what's up with this. I guess I really don't have a choice now, do I? Okay, luckily... Luckily, Celadon is pretty close by. I think it's the next city over, if I'm not mistaken. I'm pretty sure it's the next city over. How did that not do more damage to the to the to, to the Clefairy? Eh? Eh? Huh? Clefairy, I don't know what word you'll I don't know what word you're living in, but do. Where can, where can I learn this metronome? Okay, good. You must recharge. Yeah, because you just used Hyper Beam. I'm glad you have to recharge, and I'm glad that Hyper Beam didn't manage to do that much to me. Also, why is Buzzy Buzz doing more damage than Double Kick? Please don't use, like, please don't use Roar of Time or something. Scratch. Good. Good. I'm glad that it was just a scratch. That didn't even manage to hit me. Because I'm a good Pokemon trainer, and I tell my Pokemon when to avoid unnecessary battles. I'm just like, hey, BV, just hop to the side. You'll be fine. Okay. Sweet. Houseplant. Ooh, you want to learn Razor Leaf? That's a pretty good move. I think that's better than Stun Spore, so I'll forget that. Especially when I can do the same effects that Stun Spore does with BV, just by using Buzzy Buzz. Even if it doesn't do that much damage, it still manages to pull paralysis. Because it's just part of the characteristic of the move. Okay. Let's chop down this tree. Oh man, this outfit is so nice. Oh, hello there, trainer. Hello. You just told me to buzz off? I hope you have a water type or a flying type. Please. Uh, Kadabra? Actually, wait! I can work with a Kadabra, although I'm not using Buzzy Buzz, so I can't make you buzz off. Uh, I can just use Bite, and that makes you, uh... And that makes you use your move before I manage to use mine. Huh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no! You know how earlier I said that I wouldn't need the super potion? Well, guess what? I kind of need it. I kind of need it. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of need it. It seems like a good option right now. It really seems like the best option I've got. <laughs> you're using Psybeam again. Thanks, dude. Honestly, you're the best. How about I make you buzzy buzz off? Why are all these Pokemon so much faster than me? Why are you making me confused? Please don't. Please don't. Please don't. Please don't. Please don't. Okay, we're good. Whew! I'm definitely swapping out after this one. Definitely doing that, because it, it it really is our only option. Ooh, Flare grew to level 25. Cool. Um, a choke. Sands. Sands is our best option here, because Sands has wing attack, and wing attack is going to be super effective against the Machoke. So, I'll do that, as it is just our best plan in general. Alright, Machoke, let's see what you got against my wing attack. 
I hope this thing is slower than me. Yes, it is. Phew. Okay, you've, you've actually... Oh! Oh, my heart! My heart! Don't do that to me, dude! Critical hit? No. It's gonna use Rock Slide. Please, please, actually take it down this time. I'm so glad that by some way, shape, or form, we managed to avoid both of those Rock Slides. I don't understand how. I don't understand why. But I just understand that it was meant to happen. <laughs> It was a meant to happen. It was a sure thing. It was a guaranteed outcome. <laughs> okay, now I'm just gonna I'm just gonna walk by. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. I need to go over to the Pokemon Center and I need to heal up. That's all. This town's so spooky. This town honestly is just super duper spooky. Okay, welcome to the Pokemon Center. Would you like to rest your Pokemon? I would love to do that. Thank you. There we go. And sweet, we did it. Now let's head over to Celadon and let's see what we've got going on over there. I don't know what to expect. If I'm being perfectly honest, I don't really know what to expect. Other than Team Rocket, of course, but in general, you don't know what's going to happen. So, we'll have to wait and see. Also, let's chop down this tree real quick. There we go. And grab this item. Firestone, hey! Can I use that? Can I? Can I? Wait. Huh. I can use it on BV. I can use it on BV. Obviously, I'm not going to do that. In no way, shape, or form would I ever harm my BV like that. That's like that's like using a Thunderstone. Oh my goodness, that's Eradicate. Okay. Uh, I thought it was something else for a second there. In no way, shape, or form would I harm my BV like that. It's like, it's like Ash using a Thunderstone on his Pikachu. It's never going to happen. Okay, why are you just standing there looking at each other? That's odd. Let me fight them. Can I... Oh, wait. Uh, can I double battle them? Let me try. Okay, I'll let you go into there. <gasps> you actually can't? What? I can't either. What? I don't understand. I don't understand. I was just trying to battle both of you at the same time, but apparently that's not possible? Okay. Well, guess what? You're getting double teamed. There's no way around it. Because I can't actually swap out the second trainer at this point. So yeah, there's, there's no way around it. You're just getting destroyed. It's gotta happen. It's gotta happen. Okay. BV got a good chunk of experience. Okay. Wing attack failed. Meowth. Again. Okay. Cool. Cool. Let's go with a double kick. And then over here, let's go with a wing attack. Again, the same moves because these actually work. And I really hope you have another normal type because that would be nice. As long as you're willing to do that. Okay, last Meowth. Sweet. Sweet. Okay, fight. Double kick. Uh, fight. Wing attack. You know what's gonna happen. You, you know what's gonna happen. There's no way around it. Like, honestly, this trainer can't avoid the double kick. So... Obviously, it's going to be a victory on our part, and as you can tell, it was a pretty well-deserved victory because Sans just grew to level 28. I don't actually know when Sans is going to evolve into a Pidgeot, but that's something I should figure out at some point. Not today, though. Maybe later. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to say bye for now. Bye for now. <laughs> what tunnel is this? Oh, ooh, yeah, wait, 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 wait. Celadon to Lavender Town? 
Is this not Celadon over here? There's gonna be a guard on duty. Yeah. I'm parched. If only I had some tea to drink. Oh man, that would be so nice. I just don't like that dude. I really don't like that dude because all he wants is tea. Like, couldn't he be nice and accept a Pokeball? I'll gladly give him a Pokeball and just be like, hey dude, take it. Take it. Please. Let me through. Item. Item. Here? Here? There we go. Super Potion. I'll take it. Pay attention to BV's tail. If BV's tail aggressively moves, there is an item. <gasps> item. Is it... Is it here? Come on, I saw your tail moving. Okay, it's here. I, I, I can't. Wait, 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 wait. Here? Here. There we go. A max lore? Oh, another item. Where is it? On. I don't understand. Where is it? Give me some better indication. It's here. Come on. It's here? There we go. I don't know why I'm being so thorough with this. It's just a couple random items. Oh, item. I'm, I'm saying that, but at the same time, I'm also, like, mesmerized by the fact that there are items everywhere, and they're all pretty cool to get. They're all pretty cool to get. Okay. Alright, so we're over here, right next to Celadon. Am I actually allowed to go into Celadon, or am I here for no reason? <gasps> it's a Porygon! Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Isn't that a rare Pokemon? Unless, of course, a Porygon is like a normal Pokemon you just find in the wild. Like, hey, out of the blue. What up? It's my dude Porygon. I think, I think that Porygon's a rare Pokemon. I'm pretty sure Porygon is a really rare Pokemon. And I managed to toss that Pokeball. Perfect. It wasn't excellent, of course, but it was right on the target. Come on. I'm not getting any good throws here. Actually, I should probably swap over to my Great Balls. <gasps> no, I have Ultra Balls now. I can use one of these. It, it, it ran away. I don't care about an Abra. I care about a Porygon. Please don't tell me you want tea. I don't... I don't... I don't have tea for you. Oh, wait, no. Celadon's the other way. Celadon's the other way. Oops. Unless it isn't the other way, and I'm just thoroughly mistaken. Which is also possible, too. Because I, I know I'm mistaken. No, it's, it's over here. Sweet. Sweet. Where's the game corner? right here go right in we're not allowed to we're not allowed to go to any of these machines I'm just here to talk to you I'm guarding this poster go away or else here's the thing pal here's the thing I happen to be a pretty darn good Pokemon trainer so I'll tell you that I will tell you that right here right now right on this spot that I'm a pretty darn good Pokemon trainer. I didn't mean to shake my controller, but it is in my left hand, and I'm doing this. I'm a pretty... I didn't mean to 
hit my mic and then also hit my uh, headphones as a result. I'm a good trainer. Okay, look, I'm a good trainer. I'm just clumsy, that's all. Let's use quick attack. Why did I go with a boost? Of all things I could really do, I accidentally click roost. Oh my goodness, it actually worked! I can't believe it. I can't believe it, but it worked, and that's cool, and I'll take it. I will take it. Okay. Let's do this. Double kick. Come on. <sighs> we did it. I am I am now doing that. Oh wait, no. I hope that doesn't break anything. I turned off the controller. I'm in <sighs> I might have messed something up. Unless it just connects back. We're good. We're good. We're good. Okay. We're good. Now Can you can you go? Just uh, I, I, I don't I don't need two trainers putting that controller to the side. I'm pushing the switch It opened a, a loud sound it, it opened a loud sound it made a loud sound <gasps> Oh my goodness, oh my goodness I don't know why they're telling me where it is when I already saw a team rocket grunt standing around Oh wait, this is the end. This is the whole hideout here. Dang, dang, dude, that's that's a whole hideout right there. That's a whole hideout right there. Okay, well, with that being the case, I think this is actually a pretty okay note to finish up this episode on. So, thank you all so much for watching. If you did enjoy, don't forget to leave a like on the video and subscribe to uh, the channel if you aren't already. Also, check out the Discord. It's a pretty fun place. It's linked down below. You can go there, talk to people about Pokemon, Yokai Watch, whatever you really want to talk about. Whatever suits your fancy. And it's just a really enjoyable place overall. So make some new friends and have a fun time. So, again, if you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next episode tomorrow. Bye, everybody.